will come to inspire to DIY. If you're here for the first time, it's so great to have you here. And if you're returning, it's nice to have you back. In today's video, I'd like to share how I transformed an old dining chair to an elegant and glam office chair. Stay tuned for the end result and let's get into it. The first thing I'm doing is removing the letter and to do so I'm using an exacto knife as I cut through. I then realized that the foam on the desk is still good so I'll go ahead and keep it. To make the backing a lot easier to use, I'm removing the backing from the seating area. As you can see, the foam is still intact, so that will still be good for another use. I also went and removed the letter from the backing of the chair. Since I'll be doing tufting, I'm using a sharpie to mark my points and I'm doing this freehand. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If you're here for the first time, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my next DIYs. I then use my scissor to make the small holes so it can be a lot easier to do my tufting. Before you put in my fabric, I'm using this batting to cover this section and to keep it in place, I'll be using quick spray adhesive. I then went with my scissors in my finger to reinforce the small holes I previously made. This is the fabric I'll be using. It's a velvet blush pink. I really love it and I got it at Joanne Fabric. So I'll go ahead and get it ready for tufting. Tufting, I'm using a heavy duty staple gun. As I was doing this, I realized that I needed something much stronger toward the middle back of this. So I went on and used an old flat canvas that I had to do so. And this is me redoing the tufting after I added the canvas, and now you can really notice that it's actually holding pretty well. And for the back, I used the spray adhesive to glue the fabric to the foam and I later on used the staple gun to staple the middle part. And for the remaining fabrics, I went on tuck them away and staple them down.
the cover the tusk i'll be using this crystal buttons that i got from walmart and i will also use a gold trim for the back Onto the sitting, I repeated the same step from before and added some batting and then later on covered it with the fabric. fabric was stapled down on the bottom of the chair. Now onto putting both of the pieces together, I went on and marked where each of the screws is supposed to go and I later on screw everything back together. Once the chair was put back together, I went on and added the gold trim to the back so I can cover the staples. I then went on and added additional crystal buttons to the top part where I unintentionally added some tough thing. For the legs, I sand them down slightly and I then make some white and gold paint together and give them a really nice cut of paint. turn out it's so beautiful i love the velvet fabric and the crystal buttons it just give it a different flair from leather to fabric this is just the most amazing transformation if you guys do share the same opinion go ahead give this video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my next diys thank you guys for watching see you next time bye